Yeah. Check to ensure all straps are fastened securely on patient. It's not easy to get Nick Pappas inside this high-tech device. Verified battery level. That's good. It's not easy, but for Nick Pappas, life hasn't been easy. Race and motocross was my life. Nick is just one of about 80 patients at SCI Fit in Pleasanton. He's been paralyzed for 20 years. So when I was 16, race and motocross, I broke my back. So I lost the use of my legs. I thought I was invincible and made me realize life in a whole different perspective. Here, his perspective continues to change, a perspective about what's possible. There's no guarantees in spinal cord injuries, neuro recovery, uh, but what we will say is everybody will improve. SCI Fit is one of only three facilities in the Bay Area with an exobionics exoskeleton. It's a wearable bionic suit invented in Berkeley. We far exceed what's at any traditional hospital. This cutting edge technology is part of a larger oh, no. arsenal of equipment available at this eight year old center. And this center is one of only a handful in the country that focuses on spinal cord injuries and paralysis. I think there's probably less than 20 across the country. Hi, Vaughn, how are you today? But co-founder Dan Dumas knows that all too well. I broke my neck in 2005 in Hawaii and was paralyzed from the shoulders down um, and on a ventilator and I was told I'd never walk again and we went to every place we could uh, to try to walk again. And three years later, he did. The equipment is expensive, but Dumas says people need access to it. No one gets turned away. If they want to be a part of our program, I will find a way for them to be a part of our program. There are no guarantees, but both Dumas and Rainey believe. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen in a place like this. Pappas says he just wants the chance to try. He doesn't let much get in his way. This is brake and this is gas. He adapted his truck so he can get around. He even adapted a bike so he could compete in the X Games. See the strap that's holding my legs? But the road has been hard, sometimes in almost unimaginable ways. I broke my neck November of 2012 following my little son around. All right, we're gonna take a step at the right. Which makes every step in this bionic suit even more amazing. Yeah, you look good. It's pretty cool after 20 years to stand up and walk. Nick says life is about moving forward. Yeah, I just keep going. I don't know how sometimes, but you just keep going. Sometimes it's just one incredible step at a time. It's walking, you know, you can't put a price tag on any of this. Nice, Nick. In Pleasanton, Claudine Wong, KTVU, Fox 2 News.